mejor. All right. Okay. On a couche, on a cabo, on a good afternoon. The family from any salsa on a day tuning. On a thank you for joining the Well Body Better Pass Gentry program. We are the Saloon Organization of Greater Manchester. Now they bring and come to we. Now we panel, we get people them we in a saloon people them. We don't learn but um, medical stuff, thin them well body, um, 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 thing that we go make we all better. They are the ask say them advice that we with we people in the gi. No to they need the gi for let them replace you GP or your medical consultant. They only they give the advice here as a general advice, you know. Um, so they are, if you get anything personal, I would say approach your doctor or your physician um, for let them help you. But if you get any question or you don't understand something, we'll tell you, yes, you can ask me and we'll try for give you advice. Okay? So now I will introduce the team to Una Quick, then we will begin the show. Today, now Dr. Kamara, uh, Mohamed Kamara, now in the present for we today, and the subject we deal with now hypertension, high blood pressure. We will deal with last week, we do the past one last week, today we do the past two. One of the team, not to me and Dr. Kamara, no more day. We got other people that we, we don't learn Boku Boku book and get Boku experience. So I will introduce the team to on a quick, then we will begin. Okay. Right. Like I say, the Salon Organization of Greater Manchester, now in the bring them session they are to Una. And the people that within the community, now in the bring them come to Una in Creo. The reason we make the do I'm in Creo, not to say Boku Manos have been speaking English world, most of us have been speaking English, but on 10 day, um, the interpretation where we can get from doctors them, you know, it can, it can be a bit confusing, not all too we can understand. And also, then program here, where the brain can to and I call on everybody identify something, we wrong with us, so we will approach on a GP or on a medical professional for getting help on You know, if you catch problem early, you get them able to solve them quick, okay? So, now the team, we get Dr. Kamar, when I'm the present today, and I had the Agbagba, and I had the, I had the group lead, they already pant up, you know. Any trade in our life, you get forget somebody where they lead. In that way, they, um, everybody will know what they need for do. All man will know their role and their responsibility. And Dr. Kamara, na emergency medicine consultant, na ya na Manchester. On the team as well, we get Miss Wugia to Kamara when a mental health nurse and also na health visitor. And um, um ain't going to talk more to we about anything for those mental health. Okay. And we also get Mr. Abraham CC when a social worker and himself a mental health advocate. So anything for doing social work and mental health, himself with the chip in. So if you get any question, even if you not directly relates to the subject we're dealing with, but if you say as something where you want to know, you can ask the question. And as something where you go need further elaboration, we go get a whole session on that. Because not to we they decide waiting for present now. Owner the audience where they listen to we. Now owner go tell we to now one year, then we go try for prepare the material for owner. Okay. Next person, uh, Miss Fatima Kuruma. Um, now we nutritionist, but in order with we today, um, it will work on small projects at the moment, so in order with we today. But if you get any nutrition question, feel free for send them to we our email address and we'll pass them on to Fatima and Fatima will try for providing the answer where you need. Next, we get Miss Avena Tajalo and a clinical pharmacist. This with Mamaya, now they talk to we about medicine, how for who's kind medicine for take, how for take medication, and how for treat medication. All the medicine they wouldn't give you, you know, how for take them, you know, it would give you that encouragement. So if you don't know what you for do, feel free for ask questions on your medication. And then our panel today. So if you get any question regarding medication, please um, please feel free for ask. Also, we get Miss Aita Tashaka. We today you get you get lipstick. Yeah, you get bottle and eye too. Um, and I'm a mental health nurse and also a social worker. Um, if you get any question relating to mental health or social work, please feel free for forward on to we and besides uh, Shaka and any member of the com um, of the panel will support um, the answer and try to give you um, the answer where you need. Also, we get Miss Fatma Kamara, we and Mrs. Fatma Kamara and I Dr. Kamara Wef. And then I mental health nurse. Um, I don't know if you could join me today, um, but if you join me, I will make one know at some point. And uh, last but not the least, um, of the pictures that I get, I'm myself, I'm in Intimu John Fuller, I'm in a senior IT business consultant. Um, we all within the group now for do the, um, um, for host the show, you know, and also for provide the team with all the um, logistics where they need, any where they need, um, regarding IT or and anything else where they need, and make sure so they get them because everybody, as we know, everybody busy, but if we all chip in, we all keep we help out. Um, people and we will not get a picture. Um, we get uh, Miss Doctor. Um, 
Dr. Sisi, we're not doing it today. Um, um, he, he spent time with his family, and as we know, if we able to manage things, um, people will be glad if we continue for help with. So, in order with we today, but by God power, next week, we'll day with we. We also get um, Dr. Mohamed Tue, we say from a general practitioner, he's if not day with we today, but he, or do we, they all day as part of the team. So, it's good for that. Mention them. So, now without further ado, I don't know if Dr. Dog did, um, but if I get any questions, suggestions, and feedback, please, when I send them to we in uh, SLOGM Health at gmail.com and that's on two way private we will make sure so we treat them with the strict test and confidentiality but in our general question no more we go ask the dear no put a question the out for other people and benefit so i will come first now to dr kamara we go present to me today come to this recession uh plenty plenty thank you to now all for all now before left which one i do for join we you know even though now for the benefit of all man but it's important for learn uh, we're able for join one another for try for see what you're going to do, you know, for try for improve with people and help. Like we, we can't so now then country how we can we can learn any better let we try for help, even though we know for the that the country self but that not for stop we for do what you for do. So that make we actually form this group for try for help with people and especially when they talk and the you so that they can understand more and for their own needs now they cater for. So two weeks ago we talk about this big, big topic, you know, it's so big that uh, we know before done um, at one go. Now we could divide them to two sessions then. So, but before we go to what we talk about today, we're in a part two, better let me just uh, catch up with part one. So as you can see, the session itself now, for there we know everything we need for know about high blood pressure. We don't need about high blood pressure, but some months until they don't know what that means, and in fine for there we know what that means. And I make we bring this topic. So I should say when I go agree with me, say this topic vitally important to everybody with their life. So blood pressure. Now nah, nah, topic now nah, topic where they say is so important that the World Health Organization decide for dedicate, then decide for put one green day within the 17th of May, uh, dedicate them to high blood pressure. So then call them high blood pressure day. That's how important it is because we do if we hear this talk, we create people that talk, say that dog way the bet in the back. If you see dog, they can't back by you now one in the one you. By the time you see he said more than for can bet you, well, that's what blood pressure is because it go deep on you, you don't know nothing. The time where you realize now some man now can come, you know, so take come with the stroke, so take come with a heart attack, so take a problem with the eye, you know, all that thing then they so important for me to know, and I think say. I go lie power now, but if you now look at the slide, you now go see within the blood pressure they about. You see, look how it is circulate. This bit one I see now the heart down the the red part now the the blood we clean there. So in the go from the left side of the heart, it go down into all the body. It do all in work we get for do, and then after I don't do the work, the bad blood in the come out uh, from the left come up through the vein them and go back into the right part of the heart. You know, from there, they go up to the lungs, get cleaned, and then come back to the, the heart. And then, as you can see, you go back. So now, so you see all this stuff. But it's way they call blood pressure. The blood pressure now, the force, the trunk way the heart they use for pump uh, this blood through the vein them and the artery them, now in the determine within the blood pressure tunnel. If you look down here, you go see, say, the blood pressure it's okay because the blood vessel them, that the vein and the artery them, they open. If you see that, uh, they open, it's fine and the blood pressure nice. Yeah, now because the fat, the plaque, all them oil, oil, the whole they eat, their animal fat, you know, then don't block the artery and the vein. So with the blood pressure, with the blood is, they go through the vein, it is struggle. And as a result, you find out, say, uh, the blood pressure, they go up with that. So that make it nice for me to know what in this day about, you see. Right, this slide very important. I will put them two weeks ago just for show people them within blood pressure there. But now you get all kind of word upon this uh, uh, slide. When I'm done, I go for read them, and if I pick any word, and then I will not understand. Or now I for now talk about, we will talk about that. But I will bring them back later. So when I go out for look them and see them, then when I want for ask questions, then, you know. But as I don't talk no more, blood pressure now the the trunk or the force way uh, the the heart the pump the blood around your body. So if the blood vessel uh, wide, you know, the blood pressure go okay. If the blood pressure, if blood vessel uh, narrow, the blood pressure will go up. And as you can see, 
when they measure the blood pressure, um, if you look at that first slide where I showed now, this 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 instrument that they take for measure the blood pressure, this is the cuff where they go in the arm, you know, and then of course this is the thing where they measure. And then you get you get the stethoscope that's where they put now yes for listen to the heartbeat as it is, and then of course. You begin, we don't pump the thing tight. You then begin release and slowly but surely, but you listen to the heartbeat. And that they give you the answer. The first side with the, the heartbeat, now in the upper one, the one with the up, that's not the systolic. And by the time you hear and beep, 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 say, you stop for beep, you know the area again through the stethoscope, now in the diastolic. So you go hear people and talk, say, 140, 90, 140, 90. Well, that's not the one way they want you to forget. Beyond that now, it, be, it become a problem. So the ideal blood pressure, now 120 over 80, as they say, you know, but if you go up to 130 over 90, then they manageable, you know, you go up to 140 over 90, then they say, if you can say, okay, this one, you can keep your eye open, you know, but by the time you go to 150, you know, over 100, you up to 180, then clearly you need for be worried and you need for do something for being uncomfortable. But then the end day, we didn't talk about high blood pressure, but we need to mention, say, low blood pressure. They now done the self in day. But if you ask me if I want blood pressure at all, I, I go want, I would prefer to get the low one rather than get the high one. Because the low one, I can easily see something I dehydrated to them. I not eat or sometimes the medicine what they take, now drop the blood pressure. Now I make, you know, it go down. So if I get Lily, uh, what type of myself or eat or drink uh, or get drip, it will come up nicely, no problems. Whereas when you day high, you get for take them for bring and come down. Because clearly, you know, easy. If you bring a canton too sharp, it will cause you problem. Because you cause problem with the brain. If you bring a canton uh, too slow, so until you go be too late for now, you able for do something for prevent any kind of complication when you're So, the high blood pressure is more dangerous than the low one, definitely. So, we don't talk about this, as I say, you know, uh, the blood pressure is you know, 120 over 80, as they say, but you can go up to 130, 140 over 90. I tell you, it's higher than that, clearly. Yeah, you need to don't do something about it. Now, we talk about um, blood pressure, but we need to know how much type day. We get the one week at type one and we get type two. But the type one are primary hypertension. Now, primary hypertension, obviously, are the one way we say uh, some other man can call them essential hypertension. Um, we no get any idea what to make that day happy. Uh, so then they, they can say because of the genes then. If mama uh, or papa or something, grandpa, granny from mommy side, from daddy side, get her. So then you inherit the genes then, if possible, say he's a good getter. But as you grow older, clearly, uh, changes that they happen in people in body will make the pressure begin go up. Uh, that get to do with the kidney then, and the balance of the salt they will get in our body. Then they say can make the pressure, pressure they go up as you grow older. That make a person, they grow older and then they tell you say, the blood pressure they high. Well, they get for taking into consideration, say, I'm going to uh, possible say um, all that thing that they will not factor them. So, the person in age, now in the thing, you know, the kidney that's on the above. Therefore, we need to take a look at how the kidney will work. The secondary one, when I type two, uh, as I said, now because of problem that the body, and mostly, as we can see, if the kidney got problem, it can cause the pressure to go up. If you get so much weight that you they snore, you know, plenty one, and to the extent we be say something, you heart they stop, and you you breathing they stop now, you know, na net, you pass something, you your brain come into action for layer, you go for no see they alive. You know, like that person the day go they snore snore snore, and then all of a sudden you hear for leg come back alive. Well, then they nothing for tell you see this person you get obstructive sleep apnea. Therefore, that person they need. For let uh, you get that machine, we go up and for breathe. And net, we then call that CPAP machine. Very important because that the person can do something left and sleep. The way we don't know, now that you can put up, but important for me to say that this is the cause the pressure for go up. There are people that are picking every born with hole in the heart. They say, as they grow older, they can get the pressure for go up. You know, problem then with that thyroid, that gland within at the front of the neck, now, yeah. we, if you swell, some man they call them gege, gege in the throat. You know, uh, that day is something that they can be because of the area where they are you did not deep and the dirty side the the, the, the plant that they grow when I eat, eat. or oh, sometimes the gland is it will become overactive it will work too too much and therefore it will cause you problems so that itself can cause pressure for go up it can be saying that because of the side effect of the medication we person they take 
you know, so in terms of they can take tablet and they can cause the pressure to go up. That is what we need for looking for. If possible, see some man way they do illegal drugs like Nasalon, we know this Kumbe Jara, you know, Jamba, you know, some man they use tramadol now nowadays. They report that they use them for abuse them. all kind of different different illegal drugs, cocaine, heroin, amphetamines, all that and they can make the pressure go up. And of course, this we favorite uh, pastime for drink this uh, you know, mampamabuli from God to man, all that thing then they if you drink them moderately, possibly you not go and buggy, but if you take them too much then clearly you will get for pay the price for that. And as I say, inside this country we did, I think they said that for the woman are 14 units per week, and then for the man are 21 units. If you able for cut the drink, that's fine. I know because they say not stop for drink, but important for me to say alcohol self, if you abuse them, so ten to mind, go day one whole month you not drink, but then we go for good drinks and ten, which you go drink for the one month, and I go drink now one night. That not binge drinking, that's what they call it. That itself can cause depression or go up. And of course we get, uh, the adrenal gland, them, that not the gland them with the on top of the kidney. Then say, then get some substances, some things that they produce in the blood, we go make the pressure go up. So if then they then gland then they are bog or then they overwork or some tumor then grow and them, like you get some small growth and them, then can release too much of that in the way can make the pressure go up. So but you go only find out that if they investigate you something in a scan nine go before uh, uh, give you that. We don't hear really one we found will tell we say for three years they investigate them. Uh, we get this pressure, and this pressure not being the uh, respond to the treatment we they get until they come here with the car investigate them, then do the scan, then find out in the dental and then do what they talk about. So we do on top of the kidney. Now then I'm bored when they treat them well, take good thinking now, the pressure they much under control. So it just goes for telling us say clearly there's a lot there. But as you see no more, this slide very important, which make it important because he, if you remember where you drive, who that's a big driver, who that they dip and transport, you get that traffic light system green, it means you're okay. If you get that, i.e., uh, you get 130 over 85 or 120 over 80, the doctor will clap for you and say, ah, keep on the good work with the door. By the time you get to 140 over 90, you will begin to say, okay, now the KPI plan this one. You know, when you go to maybe 159 to 160 over 100, clearly you need to see this doctor as soon as possible because by then, uh, if you do drive car, you know, say, if other stop, if motor can come, or otherwise you go this for the accident. And of course, by the time you get to red, well, then in a danger one, and eh? where do we get blood pressure with the 180, the top one more, or maybe long, or above that, over 180, and then of course the bottom one 100, really, the need for CU as soon as possible. And, and so 10 then day, if you do over 180, so Monday I don't see blood pressure up to 220, and over 110. Now that day you now, no need for telling you, you need to get ambulance now, 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 who go to the hospital for letting go try for being landed under control. Otherwise, it can cause a lot of problems. Which then brings me to this slide. We get for telling about how, what you did feel, what symptom we go feel, we go tell you, say you get blood pressure. We all the top of blood pressure, but we don't know symptoms that we for look at. You know, now of course, one man can say headache. Yes, headache, definitely. If they hate the heart, most of the time, sometimes they be saying that, sometimes you don't sleep much, or sometimes, you know, uh, you get all that in them. But clearly, if you get continuous headache and you don't know what to make the head, the heart, where you know when they get headache, that's for looking for them. It's possible to see the blood pressure and the blood and the pressure. If you begin to get shortness of breath, if you get difficulty for breathe, you know, clearly, you need for looking to that way. You don't get asthma, you don't get COPD, that one way that is sick for them people where they smoke. But now you don't begin to get short of breath. If you go up the step number, you begin, you know, you need for definitely look at that. Let it investigate you. Of course, if the nose they bleed, where well, you know they put any aspirin, you know they put any blood thinner, you know, just for the some you know punch you now, you know, so you know for them, but you get to be really careful if you look at that. Again, some man face can red, that flushing. If you see that combined with the other one, they were don't call clearly. Again, you need for get investigated. And of course, this one, that dizziness, that tornado, but come on, they feel say tornado na and nothing, you know, something that we are not eat. Well, I tell you what. So man understands himself so well that if the blood pressure go up, he could taste it. Mm, you are the field need, and no city didn't blood pressure don't go up. That's how important. That's how they day. Of course, if the uh, the pressure go to the point where it affect the blood vessel, then the actually then where they around the heart, uh, it could cause what we call angina. So if somebody come one day today not get chest pain, but then you know, see a person get blood pressure, he can with chest pain clearly. You need to investigate and to make sure say. You know, get angina away. If you know treat them, it will lead to heart attack. You know, and then of course somebody will not get problem with the eyesight, with the eye them. You know, you no need for go 
uh, for both specsavers or whatever, or activating man called Tentafor, you know, for, <laughs> for change GI, well, clearly you need to look at that as well, you know. And of course, somebody come, he say, if they pass blood by your water, we go to let you see blood, then they self now sign up blood pressure, and then they self now because something the kidney will proper. Now I make it fine for then you get investigated, you know. So if you don't investigate the blood pressure and then the blood pressure just they go up, they creep by you silently, you know they know because this, as I say, is a silent killer. Well, look at the thing they're waking cause. So Monday, the first time you ever can hospital now because you get a stroke and all that, and because the blood pressure not being under control. So Monday, so then the first day will come to you hospital now because you lost in eyesight, you need to see better again. Clearly, either the stroke cause arm or sometimes the back of the eye. Uh, the yeah, retinal detachment way, obviously, you need to see again, you know, or, well, the big one, the heart attack, you know, chest pain, clearly, because the heart attack, or because of what you do, the blood pressure uh, don't narrow the blood vessel them as a result, the, the, the fat don't go up and the blood vessel them around the heart and cause the person to get angina, where you know, listen to, and then you get a heart attack. And the heart attack can lead to heart failure. The pump, when uh, the function of the heart as muscle go left, uh, go stop for be normal, then it become abnormal to the point where this is now the heart medical function. And of course, this big one, the kidney. You know, the kidney, now one way, if you get kidney problem, then they will get like dialysis or all that. They can tell you, you get kidney problem, you hard for there, you're able to control the blood pressure. It's important because we can do, most of the people that we do on dialysis, they're all day on blood pressure tablets. No questions about that. And of course, this is very important, this bit down here. This mama and papa business, you know, some man of pay attention to that. But again, blood pressure, if you not control them, it can actually cause that problem. Too. You know, if you get loss of interest from in the day, or you know, for function of do what you for do, well, clearly, then they said, sign, and you need for control of blood pressure, you need for get investigated thoroughly. They can actually do blood tests, then do uh, ECG for do the heart tracing. They can do ultrasound of your kidney, of your heart, just to find out inside the fourth day and then treat them. So here you go. This again, I for just confirm and emphasize say, if you not treat the blood pressure, you not control them, well, the brain, if you get leak, like that, it will cause confusion, headache. So man can even end up get fixed, that seizure, you know. And then of course, surprise, surprise, it can cause the blood sugar for go up. Again, we talk about the eye, we talk about the kidney, and we talk about the other function there. Now, if they don't say your blood pressure, don't go to the point where you say we need for bring and candle. When you talk to your doctor, your doctor will actually start you on. Either is that you advise you for making you change some lifestyle, you know, sometimes if you did the drink boku, but they say, and for stop that. If you did the smoke boku, now for stop that. You know, uh, if you did under too much stress, now for try and avoid that, you know. So clearly make a few lifestyle changes when I go help you. Uh, that now for the primary one, the type one. But the type two one, by the time you get to that level, really they say they don't measure them three times on different occasions. They don't give you the pump for kind of oats. You take um, the blood pressure day and net, you know, you measure them for five days or seven days, you take and go, they find out, say, at that particular point when they look at them, for the one week, the pattern, they show, say, this thing there on the high side, then they will get for statue on some medication. Now, the medication there, as we see, we get AC inhibitors, uh, angiotensin 2 uh, inhibitors, uh, blockers, the calcium channel blockers, the alpha 2 agonists there. Uh, then the way they take them, they know about uh, amlodipine, um, nifidipine, they know about... Uh, Old Mesatan, Losatan, they know about uh, Atenolol, they know about the uh, water tablet, then Bendroflomethazide, Bimetanide. We get, we sister, Ms. Uh, Jalo, Mrs. Barry, so I'll tell you, go and tell you a bit about painting the day, but we get a specific um, session where we dedicate to the medication and then use in blood pressure as well as diabetes. Maybe. We go for throw one or two words at this point. I don't know if Ms. Jalo go with something. Ms. Jalo go yeah. or maybe at the end. Oops. Oh, regarding what medication? Yes, I'll go. I'll yeah. go get a session. I'll get a a, a session um, where okay. we, we'll, we'll talk a bit more about medication, Fantastic. especially the importance of it and how to take them, and you know the differences and how to really maintain so for they take them every day. So I would I will I'll get a special session for that. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mede. Okay. Right now, in that I I talk about the beta blockers. I'm loading a ten alol beta blockers. Uh, bisoprolol, and of course the water tablet, the metanide, bendofluoromethazide, uh, fruzumide as well. All that and then they have to bring the pressure down. 
Uh, but this slide very important because we think we talk about again this blood pressure. The top one, as you see, in a systolic, we not, the bottom one are diastolic, you know. So if you do 120 over 80, the doctor will clap for you, say nice, you do something really right, it will work for you. I tell you, you get to 140 over 90, and then see in a pre-hypertensive state, then they in a pre-hypertension that. And then we see you go above 140 over 90, above that to 100, clearly now they're going to call you hypertensive. And once they label you, it's very, very difficult for make you able for uh, uh, on label or, or you know come out of that label. But one way of actually helping yourself now for adopt then lifestyle change is that we will look at you know. So be more active, be more mobile. You know, if you able to learn for right cycle, fine. If not, you no need for that for do that. Just that worker around the block. You know, then they go help you a lot. Focus on the thin way they eat. You know, the nutrition absolutely vital. You know, if you cut down the salt. And they could definitely help for control the blood pressure because now when the salt day, now the body now you can draw the water, we can make the pressure go up as well. So it's important for cut that. Now we almost now have for the past 15 years, we know they put uh, salt in a rest. The, the, the salt food they eat in a pan, the sauce, pan, the soup. Other than that, you know, the parents at all, just for way for you know. And of course, if they don't put it on medication, remember the medication now for control the blood pressure because if they creep up on you, we don't know nothing about that. And you defraid this and take cause you complications way back then or too late. Now make it nice for then you take your medication. I don't see a patient wake up to me last week. Uh, it been weigh about 17 stone. He lost five stones, now now 12 stones. And uh, because of that, he decides uh, in blood pressure don't go down, he cut down on the, uh, you, don't, you, know, you know they take the medication again. Next thing you realize, one, I think about four weeks after he stopped for taking, he came to me this day, he said, yeah, they told me, he feels busy, in able worker. It's not 40 something year old man. Now I say, I say, ah, then don't lose weight. Now I say, yeah, I say, I don't lose weight. Say, and the weight was lost. Now I make I don't stop the blood, the blood pressure. Now I say, ah, well today the blood pressure now now one eighty over ninety five. Now I say, what? He say, all then tell you, I be non candle to one thirty over eighty. Now I say, that's it. I say, now we go for give this tablet for being non So he just tell you, no, take the decision for cut or take off the blood pressure without the support of the doctor, the GP. Now work that. If you able uh, invest on one of the blood pressure. Uh, machine them and cross maybe 15 pong, 20 pong, you know, na Lloyds, na all them pharmacy them, get them now you are really good to use at any time. This is big. Number six, lose the weight. And the only way you can lose the weight now for think about the portion, the world they eat, the kind of food they, they eat, the tender world they eat. Because if you eat na net, you're likely for put on weight. Ask people the way they do night shift, they go tell you they don't even know how the weight they come on. Because we can do the body, they digest them, you know, and then of course you get, you know, a change in the body in metabolism. You can cause that. They drink too much, remember, cut back on that. 14 for the human, then 21 for the man, then. If you're able to cut down even further than that, that's good. That's even better. Smoke, if me and you, I go cut off that completely. Go down gradually, then get different, different places for help people do that. And above all, remember, the stress, the mood they get. Then they didn't the help. We need for try for sleep well. We need for cut down on the stress. That is easier said than done. But if you're able to manage them, the rest of them probably will help you for achieve that goal the way you want. But if you don't remember anything from the talk, you get to remember this particular slide. Remember, please, 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 and pretty please, high blood pressure and a silent killer. And yet they tell you nothing, they leave you me, they creep up on you when you least expect them. And as I said before, you matter, mind that. You know, it can cause you a stroke, it can cause you a heart attack, we don't talk about that already, but I can't stress, I may not say, you need to take care of that blood pressure before the blood pressure take care of you. Look at these statistics. Five million people in the UK, no, no, say they get high blood pressure. And above all, look at that, more than 14 million people there, you know, definitely get this blood pressure. And then they will not know, say they get um, about five million. So it just tells you that this thing definitely. Remember the numbers then, the ideal number then, 140 over 90, 140 over 90. Exercise will help you. Absolutely brilliant. If you will exercise, even if not worker, that brisk walking, brilliant. Alcohol, a big risk. The more you take off them, the more likely you will end up with the problem. And of course, we talk about the food. Look at the nice diagram. The leaf, the food they eat. But we on Africans are low diet, they're really good, then they're way. You see the blueberry muffin, raspberry, strawberry, you know, beetroot, quite good. You not only good for the blood pressure, but it's good for the eye, the sight as well. You know, you get beta carotene for the way they have. Banana, get fiber, really good, calorific, and you get a lot of uh, uh, potassium, you know. And look how they look this. 
They tell you about salmon. They don't tell you say go up and that hot food or that cow food. You know. Uh, they tell you say salmon no. You bull, well, now for go up and the fish, you know, mackerel, you know, pollock or whatever you call it, you know, that is very important. But if you go go begin say pass your food and then tell them, you can forget five, six, seven creatures and one small plate rest, well, be careful though. Because all that in the way they eat soon are just the fat no more. And so you need to avoid that. Garlic, absolutely superb, be good for the heart, you know. And then, of course, yeah, they're sorry for we small bit. We will like chocolate. They say dark chocolate. But when they tell you that, remember how they say now nah, in moderation. They not tell you, say, let you go, because now nah, dark chocolate, you're going to go take two tons of them. No, no work like that, you know. Pistachio, they nuts them, they're really good as well, you know. So important. So that brings us to this particular uh, topic for today. So people they ask me Boku Boku question, they want to say make a put into group, make a just tell them about them. So uh, that not just the recap of the last one. So the first question we I think say we need for look into is whose food then we for avoid when you get high blood pressure. Now the thing that before you right there, salt. I've been talking about that. Now now the the, the biggest enemy that they try for avoid minimize the salt. Like when you go to go buy fish and chips now Friday night they say a chippy night or chippy tea day. You know, where you go, you go get your salt and vinegar, then the salt you get for going to scatter up on the fish. Well, the uncooked salt, now not the worst thing for anybody. Then then they mix them, what they eat, then they say not good for me. Frozen pizza. You know, we always sometimes get busy life, then picking them, then just dip on pizza, this and that. Now we'll try for very, try for change then then food yeah, what they eat. Pickles them, then full of salt. We we don't know about, you know, canned soup them. We think say with the diet, so we get forget uh, tomato soup, you know, uh, broccoli soup or whatever. All that they didn't get a lot of salt. You get to be really careful. Read the, the container very, very well for making you see whether this nineteen will go suit you. Tomato, you know, tomato products as well. Sugar, avoid that. Packaged products, they're not good for you. You know, then three pound uh, meal did then you get to be careful as well. Look at what they get before you buy them. So, questions and answers. If we're not ready, if not, we can continue. So here we are. Somebody asked me, say, if I need for lower my blood pressure, how I will do them quickly? And this is a very important uh, question. Mr. Say, when the person asked me, I need for touch on them. Now, if you exercise, you know, most of the days of the week, you know, let's say the Mr. Pass is going to gym, you know that you're backyard. Even if you map you tiptoe up and down, up and down, that is not enough exercise. Remember, the sodium way they eat, the salt way they eat, that diet they get for be really nice to make it go down so that uh, the blood pressure will go down. If you take alcohol, limit them to one unit per day. You understand? And of course, try to avoid the stress as best as possible. So exercise, low sodium diet, limit the alcohol where you take, and of course, try to reduce the stress in your life. Then they go help you for reduce the blood pressure nicely. Someone asked about caffeine, whether the caffeine will affect your blood pressure. Well, of course, caffeine, as you know, I don't know if Boku people know say this thing they call that we drink what we call Coca-Cola. Uh, from we cola not, and then take me this Coca Cola. So, cola, we will be the study. We will eat the cola so that we go there with the bond the midnight oil. We go there, we are open, you know, we get caffeine, but now from there, then get this Coca Cola. So, now cola, now they then pull this caffeine, and caffeine can do that. It can push the blood pressure up, but it's supposed for candom. So, take it could just be for a wee while, maybe for an hour or something, a candom back. But if you they find out say, this pressure, when you go up, you need the candom as it's supposed for. But clearly, you need to be investigated. No questions about that. Because the caffeine is supposed to block the hormone where they keep the artery them open, where go make the pressure not go up. You see what I mean? So when he when he block that, then the arteries then they widen. But clearly you need to understand, say, if you they drink this tea or coffee, so man will say even tea, they make the pressure go up. So tea or coffee, or if you pass back, I'm clearly the pressure will go up. No questions about that. Yeah? Important for remember, I say everything in moderation, nine good for we. So my ask me the question, anxiety, it could cause blood pressure. Well, of course, if you day one pound with family and talk about that, you know, you go in a place where the person where they go treat them, they not let them, or they not agree, they get some small written column. In the end, you know, the blood pressure go up. <laughs> when he day na the workplace, the pressure did down. But then when he come na the place they outside for see person, the pressure go up because we didn't do something, they don't agree with this person, or certain something to meditate and something. Or you they drive, you they drive for go walk. Somebody drive you bad. You know what I mean? Begin lose you, you know, cool panda person. They obviously the pressure will go up, you know. But remember, it just they go up transiently. If they go up for a, a period of time, then you can't come back. 
But if it don't go up, then you're not kind of clearly you need for look at that, you need for getting investigated. No question about that. So anxiety can cause blood pressure to go up, but not just temporarily. They go calm down back if at all you're okay. If you're not okay, then you need for the investigation. Somebody ask whether uh, milk will make the blood pressure go up. Now, of course, the full uh, fat milk, that day can cause you for get the weight as apart from that for put uh, the, the, the cholesterol up, we can make the pressure go up. But if you take semi-skimmed or skimmed milk, definitely the rich in calcium and the low in fat. Now the calcium you need them for you you bones them, you know, uh, that's quite good. So the two important elements in that day uh, for bring the blood pressure down. In fact, the American Heart Association advise women them for drink uh, for eat yogurt, you know, every day, you know, and they find out say if they eat yogurt uh, up to five times a week, well, uh, the they get about twenty percent reduction in the risk. Or develop a blood pressure. So, but even then, you get for remember some blood pressure, uh, some yogurt, then they they full in in, in 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 sugar. So you get for probably look at the one way now get get less sugar and less you know fat for now. Way now will be helpful for you to control the blood pressure. Cheese. Somebody asked me. People that love cheese. You know, well, cheese is good. You get protein. You get calcium. But if you're too high from protein, uh, then you will say. Mm. That's good. But then again, if you get too much saturated fat, we know that we don't want, and then the salt pass back by way, clearly, now you, you, you rub pita for people. Even though you get this, the protein and the calcium, but on the other hand, you they add the fat and the salt way, not going to lead you to any size. So everything we do, do them in moderation, and that should be really good for you. You know. Um, if you not eat, whether the blood pressure will go up or not, well, uh, we'll be the talk and say if you keep fast, the blood pressure can get controlled because if you lose the weight and you don't eat as much and you don't exercise more, then clearly you go help people that we know they believe. But science don't prove and say clearly intermittent fasting can help for control the blood pressure. Because if you lose the weight and the body is adjusted the new weight without you even know about that, you know. Uh, it's possible to say you could get a bit of an electrolyte imbalance. But that is why you they supplement that with what you get for eat, we go support you for getting stuff. You know. But the important for say, if you not eat as you they eat normally, clearly, they go help you for lower the blood pressure because you lose the weight and which you they eat, not to like where you they eat before where you go put too much fat and all that. So everything in moderation will be good for you. Waiting a good snack for positive get blood pressure. So if they're not diagnosed, you say you get blood pressure, waiting at the good thing for eat. Well, banana them as I've been on top, dates, then good. Prunes them now, them and them. Now the, now the medicine that they say for the go, if you get the Janga Bele bind, well, prunes them, then good for that, but they're also good for controlling blood pressure. Pomegranate is sour, but it's quite good. Walnuts, them, then good. Healthy fats, pumpkin seed, them. We don't be not say that, not very important. Clearly, if you get that, very nice. They could then patch them, really nice for eat. And the flesh of the coconut, and this is really good as a snack for biting the way you get blood pressure. Uh, this will fumble with the uh, granite, you know, peanut. You get nutrients, they get part them, and away they bring the blood pressure down. You get magnesium and potassium, with the help for bringing the blood pressure down. At the same time, they get protein and fiber, so they're very helpful. So, you know, then good for get that. But remember, uh, they get different, different type there. Now, the one way you could need if you get blood pressure, now the one way you not get salt, pan. so the unsalted one, really good for help with the blood pressure. Ah, this one very important. So man, they always get confused. You see, now this now you make you see something and the way you go in that place, they can say, Oh my god, who's kind of like this? Uh me and a right hand man, but they say if we take the blood pressure on the left hand. And at the same time, nobody not tell me say if I don't come, I rest up to 10 minutes before then we take the blood pressure. Just imagine the GP sometimes you get 10 minutes for CU. Now they need for measure your blood pressure uh, after 10 minutes. How likely is that? You understand? And if you're not a right hand person. They're supposed to measure on the left hand. Tell me how many times I think we will actually make a, a, a survey. Maybe we'll get a, a kind of a poll uh, for let people and tell me, say, whether they go to the GP, whether they notice, say, then they ask them, say, whether they're a right hand man or a left hand man. So if you're there as a right hand man, clearly in a left hand man for measure. You know, because within the, if you're a right hand man, undoubtedly the right hand muscle big past the left one. And therefore, if you go put the wrong cuff, because the size of the cuff, then there's three types, then one for the picking, one for the adult, way now. Smaller one, one for the adults and a bigger one. If you go put the bigger cuff, now the person will get a smaller size, it will give you a wrong reading. And above all, when you measure the blood pressure, remember, 
the arm supposed for the at the level of your heart. How many times you don't go to GP where you see that? I don't think say, but people go go for say this is a very good slide for make them not say when they go to the GP next time to attend they go for suggest. I don't say go the go the man do go dictate, but just suggest to and say perhaps. Why well, don't cancel now? I don't see you me mat me height all long you know that white coat syndrome they talk about. I don't begin worry. Say oh they can't tell me just I can forget four or five medication because we think we black man. We need to respond well to one tablet when anti-hypertensive, when a blood pressure tablet. So then we need we need two, three, four, you know, for level for control the blood pressure. So if you the can now, you come, you the guard, the blood pressure is in the shooter. But then you don't get the time for see you within 10 minutes. You know, now 10 minutes then yeah, according to the government, say if I don't see you otherwise, you know. So if you get for measure them, the only way for avoid that now for give you you young cough, we go go with now O's, we go monitor your blood pressure. Or you will take them um, at the term where it's very convenient for you. And most of the time, the best thing for take the blood pressure or measure them, now where you just wake. Because the blood pressure, the blood pressure, they go down the net, and it begin rise in the morning, and then it go, it reach now in peak around mid-afternoon. So imagine, say, if you go, go, go see your, your, your GP around six o'clock, even time when the blood pressure don't go up, then clearly you go get your wrong reading. And so then if they're not begin, they're not necessarily need for start you on medication, now in that. And we begin starting medication. So all the things then they, they contribute towards the management of that. Now make you fine for make we know what you deal with. Again, I just talk about that. You know, what time of the day for measure the blood pressure? As you can see, before you wake up, now at the lowest you know blood pressure which you expect to get. And by the time you go up to mid afternoon, clearly, well, you know, go get it higher. So then go measure at, at mid afternoon. When some time you know they low in the morning, clearly they'll get a wrong with it. Now make if you're able to monitor them now, oh. You do um first thing in the morning and later on in the evening for one week, you go see say you get a pattern where they develop, you get uh, like a regime where they develop where they say, aha, uh -huh, me on the range between 140, 90 to 120, 80, and that or 160, 80 or 160, 90. That way they, at least the, the GP way they go see you now get an idea as to which thing at the highest, which at the lowest, and then you go get an average for the week. Win and go up. Somebody asked me this very important question. Say every time they measure my blood pressure, it they change, it's different. When they change it now, five minutes ago, it's it different. Ten minutes later, it's different. Why? Well, of course, because of the situation the way they. If you go, you the worry. They don't go tell you some news. We know like you understand. They don't allow you ten minutes for make you rest. For there, you your body go adjust to the new environment way they. Clearly, go go up. You know, and of course, you know, it will get for condom back if it's normal, because the blood pressure. If I see snake now. now it will go up straight away. But after the snake, they don't pull a musa again for the me don't call clearly. You know, if I see what team are not like, it will go up. But after that, it will come down. But if the blood pressure, you know, they come down to a normal expected level, then obviously you need to be investigated and that for an sign for testing something all right. You know, ah, well, this probably now one way I know you need for telling, as I say, this now cause of boku boku problem in the those you know, uh, it causes a lot of problem for we demand them. And um, if at all you get a decrease of the blood flow to that area, the way now it's responsible for my and papa business, clearly it can bring about, you know, dysfunction. It can bring about uh, problems where it can cause uh, more stress and can cause the blood pressure to go higher and higher. So clearly, if you, anybody really experienced that thing, then they, we know I like for talk about that thing, then they, I can understand that. In a personal matter, in a private matter, but at the end of the day, you and your GP, and I don't get private matter between us. You can clearly meet the GP or make you look into this. And then, of course, you know, uh, uh, find out how for investigate them and find out whether this is not we go for reverse with some therapy or with some medication and then take it from there. It's possible to say not just anxiety, but all of that need for investigated for letting them get to the bottom of it. And then, believe me, most of the time, you, you find out you can succeed at that. Well, whether you ask me the question whether WACA will reduce the problem, of course, we don't talk about that. The exercise, they definitely they bring the blood pressure down. For confirm that, then conduct an experiment, then find out, say, uh, people the way they do exercise, they don't do they go to the gym, then they do they run and all that, or then they do workout, even if not yours. Then find out, say, the blood pressure before the workout compared to the blood pressure after the workout, definitely less after the workout than before you begin the workout. So it just goes to show you, say, the more you exercise, the more likely for bring the blood pressure down. So, waiting for do for change, as I say, you get diet where you get for change. You that include the salt, the fat, and the cholesterol. You know, 
the entity and they're all there towards reducing the blood pressure. Of course, if you get other problems like the kidney, the thyroid, that get, you know, hormonal problems, diabetes, all lenting them there. Clearly, uh, you need for look into them for try for uh, bring this blood pressure down, we go able to help you. So I think so that brings me to the end of this topic. And I thank you all for all now, taking the time for listening to me. So now I hand over to the host and then we open to a very, very interactive question. Thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you very much, Doc. If I'm with them, um, Doc don't finish for the in presentation. And now the floor don't open to we all for ask questions. So, um, Oda will be the first person today for ask questions. Yes, Auntie Azita. If you are new to self, please. There you go. Um, Doc, thank you. Thank you very much for everything. It was a very good presentation. Um, I got one question I will ask. We will lead to a second one. Are they on high blood pressure medication and are three different ones they are they on? Then um, are they taking medication definitely religiously for this blood pressure or they go down? Mm -hmm. However, I still live on other type of medication than back where they take. We include um, levothyroxine and ferrosulfate. Do you, are you able to explain to me why make this blood pressure not go down? Thank you so much, uh, Mishaka, for the question. The very, very important question. Uh, what I can tell you now is that one professional London being don't do a research into blood pressure control uh, using tablets then for we the afro caribbean people then or in america african america i think we get people from america we go bear me witness it. most of the american uh, contingents then people and we get blood pressure uh, problem then they on a combined pill you know combined tablet so but you you find out say one tablet from black man for example i'm not a pin no more most of the time, no go give you the result that we want. Now, I make the need for combine them with something else. We will try for actually, um, you know, combine the effect there so that it will bring the pressure nicely down. So we, which man that we Caucasian counterparts, then then probably they respond better. But we as black man, then we we BP kind kind of resistant, you know, a tough for treat. So now, I make you see the GP not the best person for looking to that. Will give you either two or three as long as you're able for tolerate the side effects them and as long as the three or two able for work together mm -hmm. right? but if you the experience say the blood pressure you need know, to go down as I say sometimes either then therefore increase the the, the 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 dose you know or sometimes then therefore investigate further for see waiting else they not pick up now you just tell me say you they on levothyroxine we uh now for underactive thyroid now for that uh that gland at the front of the neck away, if you know the walk proper, uh, you need forget that. That day, obviously, you can then go and uh, increase the blood pressure. But then you mentioned uh, ion tablets, I think, ferrosulfate. Uh, well, ferrosulfate, uh, now ion tablet, way that they give for person way anemic. Now, woman way they of a uh, childbearing age, way in uh, between the ages of 12 and 50, most of the time, they can become anemic because of the fact that they lose a lot from this uh, monthly business, that kind of business, that period. You know, and if you lose a lot, imagine that you get five liter for the na the body. Now you lose this thing drop by drop every month. So between six months to a year, instead of you get five liters, until now three liter, until now two liter you get. All this while, this heart. They take control. Now that ninety body they do. So when things go down, that, that other part they go up. So the heart they actually respond to that strain. They say, ah, this thing uh, don't go down, but I need for just keep them up, you know. And when you keep them up, you get for then pump more. Now if you they pump more, clearly the heart, as I say, they then get for respond to that lack of uh, 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 that ion there or that lack of the hemoglobin. And if you they the part, the left part and the heart, what I've been showing, I just know they begin to get bigger and bigger. So I see the pump faster, clearly now so the blood pressure will be higher. But watch, look at it. If they give the iron sulfate or the ferrosulfate, able for control the hemoglobin, bring and come up to the level where the heart will begin less 
leak less and less, the strain will be less and less. Clearly, the blood pressure will go down as simple as that. So you get a combination of factors. And most of the time, if you see people that they lose more on this monthly corner business and period, now probably because we, the African people, the African women people, them, the women, then we sister them, they're not left for any this, but most of them, they're prone to fibroids. And the fibroids, sometimes you get forget for the investigator for that, because we can do the fibroids, then call them the physiological contraceptive pill, because we can do when women get fibroid, most of the time, he can struggle for taking to take belly. And if you take belly, he possibly say you go a threat from the picking because we can do this fibroid, then they compete with the baby that the mama and belly for get this hormone where the woman get. So because of that, as the, as the baby they big, now so the fibroid they big, but it depends on that. So the two they compete from this mama and belly in a small space. So one thing of a push, you know, the other one. And mostly now the baby can suffer an egg, most of the women they can end up experiencing some bleeding. Sometimes they can even lost the baby in between. So I don't di digress, but it just go for sure you say one thing lead to another. So if you control the fibroid, you control the bleeding, then they go take care of the blood pressure because the hemoglobin could be at a level where you expect for lady. And then of course, then they go help you for control the blood pressure fine. We can talk on that later if you want, but clearly I think say this just tells you the complexity of the situation. That you not just like, you know like that say blood pressure that's it you get for investigate them deeply and exhaustively for make you know which the cause I'm waiting to actually give you the positive response with you. I hope so then they respond to your question. Yeah, you don't answer the question because everything we mentioned so far now in definitely they happen within the system. So thank you so much for for this. You know, you just open my eye. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Yeah, no, some, Thank some, you very much, Doc. I'm glad you say you don't open anti <laughs> Yes, I don't have the And um, um, I'm going to check. I'm not Dr. Mohamed today. Now, you are the senior department, now the audience. So. Yeah, like ah, welcome, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, the next person on the um, on the list for ask question, uh, Mr. Karifala, if you can unmute yourself. Yeah, uh, yes, thank you very much, sir. Um, thank you, Doc. Uh, I name Krabo, I the call from London. What are the ask really? You see, the doses where they give like for amlodopine uh, can differ. I want to know why then doses are they different from for everybody. If not the same blood pressure that all the suffer, why may they have five doses here and there, ten doses here and there for some person? Some person may they take more doses than the others. If that they get anything for the seriousness of the matter, or na just doctor discretion, then they. Well, very good. Well, I think say uh, this uh, dialogue will probably throw light on that. But my own small understanding from that is that the the GP or the doctor in your own role from this team. Now, for use the least invasive uh, method for control the blood pressure to the desirable level. I don't know if that makes sense. Yes. If, for example, you your blood pressure will be controlled well with 2.5 milligrams of amlodipine, now that nine will fit you. Remember, now na key way you get for actually monitor. So if you give you five milligrams and it work nicely, you no need for increase them. But if you give you five and you know walk and you see this in the go up, so you need for double arm for let go to 10 so that you can actually control the blood pressure fine. If not, you find out, say, like this guy where I tell you, I tell you, see what in the top, he lose weight after from 17 stones, he can down to 12 stones, the blood yeah. pressure drastically can down. Yeah, yes. So, so, so clearly, it just goes to show you that when that happened, the man take himself off him. Now, so tell me, instead of even they take 10. The possibility of bringing a candom to five, that yeah. would be still maintainer. Because on ten day, now I answer the question fully now. So ten day, they're all mommy that can come to we, then get four or five medication. You understand? Oh, and yeah. then you end up the for dom. You can't to we you end up the for dom, you bang your head, begin bleeding your head. When you yeah. look at them, you put them, make it team up, the pressure away is dumb, compared to the pressure away team up, the pressure away team up, they go right down. So tell we see dumb in pressure now one fifty over hundred or ninety. When it's up, the pressure go down to 110 over 60. Now, big drop that, 40 milligram, you know, millimeters. Clearly, the heart note for control that, the brain note for control that, means then they collapse and for them. So such a person, 
If the blood pressure that low, then go say, let me stop and force and let me watch within the gun. So remember, the least possible uh, tablet or medication we get for give for control the blood pressure to the desirable, you know, level, nine then go give you. Okay. Like three, four, yeah. then that's what you get for B, now you think that. But I think say Ms. Jalo will be able to uh, tell you a bit more about that. Okay, is that Ms. Jalo you talk to you today or na next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ms. Jalo is able to get one or two words for say. Oh, yeah, excellent, all right. Ms. Jalo. Kaifala, hello. Yeah. 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 Um. Yes. Um. Doc don't answer the question more or less. Um. Fully. Um. That is exactly the reason. Now the reason and the thing, thing why make so um the the, the those go different from one person to the other. All man in the, um in, in resistant. I know in in you know what I mean. I wish I was explain. I say resistant. Some people then they the blood pressure it act for candom. Right now the resistance it act for candom. So it go persistently, you know, for, for some long time, it go they high. So now I'm so they go need a higher dose. So the way we they do them, like how doctor explained, the GP, I work in GP practice, and that's exactly what I do. I manage people them. So I take off workload from GP. So I see such people, cause I've got more than 10 minutes to spare. Whereas GP, like now doc, doc don't say, they don't yeah. have time for all this. So now like a person like me, so now we go see them kind of people here. Yeah, once they have that, they, they don't diagnose them, completely, then what you go do, we go start them off. I'll give them five milligram amlodipine. Then I say, um, let it come back in a week or maximum two weeks. Yeah. Then yeah. I'll ask them back, let it buy a blood pressure machine at home. Let them measure around every day, morning and evening for about a week or the first two weeks. So oh, it wow. come back. Yeah. So it will come back. Then we'll compare what you get and what you get that reading that day, day as well. They'll see if you get white coat effect it's syndrome, the way um doc we don't touch on, it was like something when somebody see you in a clinic, your blood pressure they go high, we we'll go even for notice and straight away. Compared to when they're all relaxed. So if we notice after that two weeks day, that five million I'm not, not do nothing. The blood pressure continue for day high or continue for stay the same, would they increase until 10? So, right. for, so now 10 milligram nine are the maximum for amlodipine. And now they go higher than that. Yeah. In blood pressure. So okay, different, okay. Diff different condition them, you go see, say, they use different dose for the drug. So if now, for example, Ramipril would they use, for example, you go start with 1.25 in an old woman, old man, because like our doctor explained, it they reduce the blood pressure instantly, calm down. So you go make them faint and go one for them. So, but somebody when I a 40 plus year old man, so go start 2.5 Ramipril. You see, so it depends on you, you, you ability for how your body will cope with it as well. Then they look back kidney function, they look back liver function, all in bloods, then they go there before me, they will decide whose dose correct for the person. But we're okay. going to go into this when we come talk about the treatment. But yeah, sister, I know say, there are so many people waiting there, but um, just one last one quickly. Yeah. Uh, is it possible for someone to be on 10 milligrams of amlodopine for let it drop as time to go by, or it could just do it no more all the time? Say it again. If it's possible for like is it possible yeah, for let the milligram drop from ten to five at any time in, in, in anybody in treatment? In, no. Very rare for C in Africa, Afro Caribbean people. It's very rare for C. Say the blood pressure actually reduce by itself. You get for do work. You get for lose weight. You get for change your diet. You get for you know cut down salt. Naturally, they see different. And also, we get one big problem. We know they stick to the instructions. We don't say take medication. We take until today, we left and tomorrow. We take two days in the week out of seven days in the week. And they make like the blood pressure, they're all over the place. So now that they're the other big problem back. If you not adhere and stick to the medication every day, like how they don't tell you, it can difficult back for lady blood pressure, can't do or remain usa we want for lady. So okay. that's all. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. That's all right. Thank you very much, Mr. Kaifala, and thank you very much, Auntie Aminata. Um, the next post where they go to now, uh, Mr. BK man. I don't unmute you, sir. If you unmute yourself, please, sir. BK man. Yes, sir. There we go. Good evening. Thank you very much, Doc. Thank you. For the presentation. Um, like I say, me self now blood pressure patient. I don't deal on the medication for the past 10 years. Actually, um, then they put me on metoprolol, 50 milligrams. That was back in Germany. And Ramipril five milligrams. The Altuna Germany way, I begin use them. But lately, after I moved Kenya, I begin I begin sweat so much in the night. So I go to my GP. Unfortunately, I not be meet my GP. Uh, now one other nurse. 
Uh, now, he advised me say probably not the metropolis, na in the make at the sweat so much na net so, uh, so uncomfortable na net. I know they for sleep well. So he tell me say I bring that up with to me GP. So I bring that up to me GP. Then he take me out of the metropolis and raise the the dose of the ramipril from the five milligram where they take when be combined with the metropolis to seven point five. But the pressure will not go down, it still go up. So it, it, it puts me up to the 10 milligrams, then I just before the, uh, the lockdown, but the pressure still not come down. It still not come down. And lately before, just like before the lockdown, then, then notice here, I guess some gallstones on my, on my system, um, we, that's a, no help the situation because when now when are they called because uh, from then we're not even for uh, not even for go for see me a GP I just on on phone so it tell me say something like that now now that would not help for trigger the thing where they make me pressure not they go down so it, it sent for me for referral but like we all know because of this uh, crisis we all they par till now unable to get anything for go see uh, the 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 referral doctor na na na, na the hospital. So now the question that they ask, this they actually they bother me right now. I don't know if Doctor will be able to help me out with anything, advice as to waiting now for do. Thank you so much, Brother BK. Now um, I don't know, maybe Ms. Jalo <laughs> go know, but as far as I know, I don't see any link between the gallbladder and and the blood pressure. You know, kidney. If not kidney stones, uh, that's a different ball game altogether. But if not gold stones you get, then they get for do with the kind of food we they eat. For example, if they eat too much uh, oily stuff, you know, fried yeah. oily stuff, you see, I know I digress again, but the blood will we get in our body, if they change itself once every 120 days. People that we get um, sickle cell, we will talk about, they only they be a bit more frequently. So if you find out say the blood they change itself once every four months, three to four months, the bearing ground for the blood na in the gallbladder. Now they that bile there. So the end product of the blood na bile, na in the na that gallbladder there. Yeah. So anytime where you eat, anything we get fat. So until you go, you get uh, fish and chips with gravy, that gravy there, or you get uh, uh, salad, lettuce, we get mayonnaise, mayo. The only thing that they all get fat. So man can say, ah, I do on this diet, and I sell it no matter they eat. But no, you know, my beloved begin asking me, I say, well, how you eat and what you put on? I say, oh, no, not just some mayonnaise. I say, ah. <laughs> well, like that too. Now that thing that cause this bile, the demand of the bile from the gallbladder will go through the duct into the small bowel. So therefore, it they squeeze, just to squeeze and for pump and go, because now they want for leg to do the digestion. But because the stone day in the way, all the gold bladder they do now for pumping them. And imagine the pump ball with the air, and then they go no side, just a pump, pump, pump. Obviously, you come to a point now, it's so extend that it begins causing pain. And if you not stop, clearly it will cause problem, but you go boss and then cause a big problem. So gold stones, I don't see any link where you get no unless you play up so until you didn't the pain, because the pain can make the blood pressure go up. That's guaranteed. No questions about that. But kidney okay. stones, different ball game altogether. The kidney stones clearly they can lead to problems with the kidney and therefore can make the blood pressure go up. And as I say, the kidney uh, generated blood pressure in China, one of the most resistant, resistant one that we can cause the hypertensive crisis we'll be talk about. So now make we always advise people, even when they give the medication, you find out so they can always try to find out how the kidney function be. You understand? Because if the kidney function worsened by the medication, clearly they'll get for looking to them for see for change them to something else. So until they notify you, I just they think say I'm not too sure because for one, if you sweat too much, possibly they need for look at the thyroid. Well, probably they need for investigate the thyroid, you know. So that is one thing for look at. But I don't know, new knowledge not tell me say gallstones get any link to do with the resistance of the blood pressure. Maybe Miss Jalogo know otherwise, but as far as me know, I know. But kidney stones, yes. Yes, Doc, I think you're right. It possible say, um, possible say, um, um, the, the, um, the brother will ask question. It possible say they mix them up with renal stone because if not, yeah. I think say good day in pain right now as Absolutely. it is. Yeah, Absolutely. so 
So I think it's renal stone. So renal stenosis could increase the blood pressure. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know if Dr. Tuguin said for one chip in. Anything for say towards this, sir? Now, uh, Dr. Tuguin, a PhD, an academic doctor. Oh, okay. Now, uh, agriculturist. If you want to talk about plants, now that. Now, you want that. Now, we're the that we own, Dr. Now, we're the that we own, Dr. Tuguin. No, this is not Peter Tuguin, yeah. Okay. Yeah, surely I can, I can chip in a bit because this is my patient of um, um, high blood pressure. Uh, I thank you first and foremost for this effort that they make for share uh, una, uh, expertise and heal we all, uh, which is very good. And um, I will strongly encourage you for make una, they continue with this sort of um, uh, uh, quest because then we, then we help and we have make ourselves available as experts in the medical field for help we all. You know, that's very good and please do not continue and not stop at all. Right. Well, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Mrs. Sefna, um, a hypertensive patient, I didn't attend a law for quite a long period of time now. Uh, the following uh, advice is still to give um, as regards um, diets, weight loss, and all the rest of it. I don't do mean I don't feel similar, mean I not to stranger to the thing there again, because um, we don't do on the, on the treatment for quite a while. But one thing where we, we, we puzzle me with this high, high blood pressure is that when once you get them, um, it appears as if it not ever go away, no matter what kind of a, a treatment we, we take. That I'm your experience what I don't get. And I don't discuss them with my GP for several times now, and they always tell you, see, um, we see you don't get us on a for life, or, you see. But I don't know, maybe when our opinions can be differ to that, right? So um, I don't know why should it be like that? And then also um, somebody touched on something we concern me as well as regards the dosage system. I believe see, we all are individuals and we do see we, we differ in the um, composition and we differ in the genetical makeup. So obviously there has to be some differences in the dosage system we would take. But why is it that with some people, um, the dose system is so high? Has that got something to do with this, the, the the um the gravity of the sickness itself or the type of medication we for say now you take. Like me now they take atenolol also I don't do on atenolol 100 milligrams uh for um over ten over to 15 years now. Right. So this is me on take anyway. All right. Thank you very much doc. Thank you. Uh, you, yeah. you just don't touch on the, the, the particular uh, uh, issue the genetic makeup. Mm -hmm. The blood pressure, as you know, naturally they go up and down. Now, the GP, they never get the time for explaining to real people then. You know, as I say, the black man, he, he, regarding the, the, the BP, in control, very resistant. Now, I make you see most of the time, one tablet maybe for controller. That not just the way we would day. As I say, one professor in London, now that he find out. He find out, say, most of the black man, the way they on one, you know, single therapy, need they succeed. Secondly, uh, if <laughs> you don't inherit the genes, so now that nine the GPs are telling you, if you inherit the genes, either Mama Sai or Papa Sai or certain, in some occasions, in some cases, you get both of them, Mama and Papa, clearly, there's not much you can do about that. You can lose the weight. I mean, I don't see people in a way slim like nothing else, but because of the kind of thing they wouldn't do, it's not possible not to sleep the net because what you do, you want for the good preach in the morning, so you get for studying the net. You understand? So you get. Uh, now you can get a multidisciplinary team approach. You get, you know, the stressors them. They get a very big role for play. Yeah, you get the genetic background. They get a very real, big role for play. You get which in actually they cause this blood pressure to go up. Is it something renal? Is it something thyroid? Is it something super renal? You know. So when you actually dissect this thing, you go down to the, you know, the real intricacies of which thing make this thing they go up. You probably go get an answer. But either way, if genetics involved and the lifestyle, imagine, you know, who's how we did now, yeah. You know, all man, you know, they live more or less a sedentary lifestyle. You know what I mean? Uh, the chances mm -hmm. make you go out, go, go do something, go work out, you know, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Very slim. So, so Monday, sometimes social side of things, you know, sometimes with the drink, no, no, sometimes some man with the smoke, no, no. no. And then all that thing in the day, and of course, the stresses and picking, then they are family, then they back home, they push you. You go for go do two jobs, three jobs, and things like that. All of that 
put them in context clearly. There is something there with something you know, ticket. But for say, when the blood pressure day up, it they left up. No, it can calm down. And as I tell you, the man where I see we lost five stone, he definitely can down, no questions about that. Unfortunately for him, he inherited him from the genes. The mama and papa get blood pressure. And sadly, the kind of lifestyle they've been they live, we don't add on to 17 stones. When he bring and can down to 12 stones, instead of the 10 milligrams we've been there on, now now five milligrams will be up. Can you see what I tell you? So you, you just need for actually look at that multi uh, you know, multi-system approach we go after and you know get them down to you really. But as it is, sometimes if you lose the weight now, the stress go up and down. Sometimes if you lose the stress at a time, uh, the, the, the the hemoglobin go down go down and down. So tell if you lose that day, it's possible to say, you know, family problem go down. You know what I mean? And all of these add to one thing. Now one point we get and all of these add to the point clearly it happened. Besides that, the kind of eat will they eat. Think about it. You know, diet, don't you be yeah. able for day they maintain that lean meat. We are all guilty of that. Mm -hmm. And as we know, because we self na mortal man them, we they provide or create or uh, uh, you know produce we own cholesterol. So we as animal them, we get we own cholesterol. You know what I mean? And if we eat external uh, cholesterol because of the, the meat what they eat, clearly it adds up. This is just a, a trend, it does happen. Unfortunately, we're not in control of the genes and sadly. This is just, we blame the genes, you know. We know, <laughs> if we were to choose how we born, we're clearly, we know for choose that. But we just, therefore, once we get up, this is not my own advice. You know me say because you get up, that means it's a death, death sentence. Because me say we talk to Naya, me say na, na person, na victim of that. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. control arm, you know what I mean? That's true. If you control arm, you go stall most of the complications then, you know. And that is the take home point. That, you know me say because they're not diagnosing with them, you can't then uh, not control them. No, you get for just make the effort, do what you get for do for try and control them from various yeah. angles that are talking about. And that way you can maintain them to the point where you say you live a fulfilling and complete, you know, life as you expect. Really. So I don't know if Dandy allay your fears or maybe Andy. Uh, tell of you course, it, it does. Um, another, another point back again when somebody make, I think now um, somebody called um, Amina Jam, uh, if I'm not making a mistake. Yeah. Right. Um, he talks, say, he say, um, we need for be discipline. Not so me construct anyway. Absolutely. Because if you take um, you, consistency mm -hmm. matters in this case. Mm -hmm. If you know they do them consistently, then obviously, uh, as she uh, mentioned earlier, I think she will get, for, get an effect on you as well. 100%. But again, yeah. the busy life, lifestyle of this part of the world, sometimes some people then. Not was in a carelessness, but then can, then can, then can allow that for influencing material. I know they see me now one of such people them anyway, but um, I believe see um, the point where you put me, it's, it's also, it's very crucial. Yes. So, so yes, uh, consistent. Well, that's good, that. You just mentioned that. Now make you see the American man them, what they yeah. do, then combine the tablet them. Yes. Instead of therefore take out two, three times a day, we now two different three tablets, then combine them to one. We, you know, because of the, you know, the commitments, the time constraints, we, you know, endeavors and we commitments and all that. So just for try for help, for where you get compliance, because compliance, as Ms. Jalo, they say, that compliance, that discipline, now that may mm -hmm. be towards, you know, like I would then I walk, I can give you an example. I would then I walk, yeah. people bring then, then, then chocolate, then this, then that. I tell, let's say, I tell you what, <laughs> I, I can stop myself for begin. You know, I think Sylvia, you to the one that. <laughs> yeah, I can stop myself for start. Yeah. But once I start, mm -hmm. I can't stop. That's yeah. it. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can say something. Very tempting, yes. <laughs> yes, ma. Yes, yes, um, yes, I want to uh, say yes. Um, thank you, Doc. You give a very well round um, um, explanation to that answer. I just want to yeah. add say um, the genetic effect they find down a lot in people that were under 40. Now they would mm -hmm. detect her straight away. And it can also always show, say, now secondary cause, now another cause, not to the primary hypertension way doc we don't explain about. It's mainly usually something hormonal, something genetic, something else, some okay. other gland, some other organ. Now in cause mm -hmm. or you can't get to this hypertension. So now make so in this country, they don't find out, say, people then from 40 must go for um, NHS health check. Super. Because at 40, now we tend for they develop that primary hypertension. Mm -hmm. So if you happen to yes, go exactly, at 40, they exactly. might even 
yeah, they might just catch it straight away. But some mm -hmm. of we, especially the, our, our, our brothers, the black men, I'm sorry to say, brothers, we mm. not they turn up like GP surgeries at all. We know they see now. They call we're all guilty of that. Honestly. Yes, we're all guilty. Yeah, so when machine. they don't go, by the time they're 60, it don't turn something else. They, <laughs> yeah, they have they, they, they feel belated. They this, they that. They, all yeah. kinds of things they happen. So please, I they mm. tell me, me brothers then, please, especially, oh, my neck in, they can take more, more you know, more yes. opportunities. So yeah, mm -hmm. so get it under forties. We don't come across a few. I don't come across a few salon brothers that when they under thirty, uh, under thirty even, then get high blood pressure. But not yeah, to the normal much. one, not because no, of yeah. other things. So because they mm -hmm. turned up, they turned up. It was picked up. Otherwise, it wouldn't be another illness. So they would they that way. So please, and allow go for the NHS health check. Allow also buy machines. This COVID time, because we're mm -hmm. not able to do face to face easily. People they know they come and surgery so if often now and practice. So we tell us people we they really encourage them for buy the machine. You you talk to the wait man, they say, Yeah, yeah, I'll go and get it tomorrow. Twenty pounds, you know, in, in Tesco. Fine. You talk to the black man, eh, well, my sister, I'm not gonna get free. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's only 20 pounds, you know, for your health. Just go and get yeah, it. Okay. Then you know, like how Doc would explain, try for the dua. Me, me, I would say I'd advocate for every black person with the with them okay, at all. Yes, 30 and above. Start checking your blood pressure. I would advocate that from time to time. No way to stay with 40, then go catch and I'll say, Oh my god, you get high blood pressure. Yeah. yeah. How come you don't lower the age now from 40? No, no, I would not I would just say to be on the precautionary side, just be aware. Especially we we'll know they make effort for eat healthily. We we'll not make efforts much for exercise. We we'll know they make so much but unless number one one begin exercise more, eat better cut the salt, you know, cut the palm oil, the oil, the frying. If we want to do all that, it, it's all good. You know, it's fine. But we find that, you know, when you talk to somebody, oh, they don't diagnose, you say you get high blood pressure. If now white man who's not 40 years old, he goes, say, you know what? I'm not st I'm not starting any medication. I'm going to work on it. It will go gym. Yeah. It will run. It will do. Wait, black, white, black man now, give me the medicine or I begin take her. This is so. <laughs> anyway, I, I just say, make her just... But really, yeah, uh, the message is let's let's try harder, yeah. So no, so we can sure. Sure. yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, my fine. my good thing for Le, we all the hospital because me and I want a uh, victim where I got I not like to be honest. You know, unless maybe I they lost me me head or me leg, I'm not going to hospital. But I like for going to doctor in Oslo, Doctor Kamara. Oh yeah, they cancel. <laughs> yeah, they can go. I get three people in and up, um, including um Sisiugi. Then after that, I think so we'll go for round up. We almost run out of time. Um, Auntie Emily, I know you say you're not doing work for a while, so if you unmute yourself and ask your question, please, ma. BK, I will come to you. Zachary Fala, I will come to you. And Sissi Wugi, I will come to you. But Auntie Emily, I am not be done doing force. Hello. Hello. Yes, ma. Where are you now? Hello. Good afternoon. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. It's not Victoria. I come from Maryland, yeah. I just want for a first, um, um, the last talk when my sister just talked, about the food, the souls, the exercise. You know, um, most of we, um, it's just food and exercise. They really they help the blood pressure. Mm -hmm. You know, um, um, the notion of, um, um, of um, 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 just put Maggi in a sauce, you get lots and lots and lots of sodium. I remember what gone at home. That was the biggest issue. They say, oh, I know they eat salt. And Maggi no matter the food. Mm -hmm. So please, you know, Oh, well, they could not focus on those areas, you know, because blood pressure, you know, um, uh, um, just like my sister just um, <laughs> made a talk just now, you know, um, there are lots and lots of ways that um, we can, you know, we be able for uh, for resolve most of those issues, not just by medications, you know, not a by blood pressure machine until we go back and see the doctor on the physicals then, you know, so not just be, um, 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 you, know, um, you know, aware of that okay. <laughs> and reinforce that with your partners then. If you know they cook, if now your wife they cook, you teach them how for cook, waiting for put day. That's all, um, you know, and we try for say, but uh, since my sister, we don't talk her now, it's just to reinforce that too. Thank you very much. Thank Auntie you so Claire. much. That's very good. Um, so we'll go to Mr. BK, then Mr. Karifala, then Sissi Wugi, then we'll ask doctor for roundup for today. We only get five minutes left, so they are the big family the make a short shot. Yes, Mr. BK, you're next, sir. 
Unmute yourself, oh boss. There you go. Hello? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yeah, just now, uh, just a follow up to the first question we I be um, ask. Yeah. Because now I don't be on ten milligrams and my pressure still not calm down. Okay. It's still possible for let like, I roll back to the fifty milligrams of metoprolol and the five milligrams of the ramipril. We in I don't with um I don't take them for the past ten years. Um, that be somehow stable on on till the past couple of months. Where it change over to the seven point five, where they take me out uh, from the um, metropolitan when I fifty, and now I don't do on seven point five. You know, work now I do on ten milligrams. I still not work. Is it possible for do a rollback? No, I wouldn't advise it. I would say go see your GP because mm -hmm. then I go get all your notes as to what's in your, your clinical, you know, your whole clinical whatever picture because mm -hmm. there must have been a reason for why then give you a beta blocker, perhaps, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but then here, the the, um, the the UK, the um, guidelines, not a beta blocker at that stage. Really. But there may have been a reason for why they give you a beta blocker with the slow you had that metoprolol. May or may not be. Maybe not because of the guidelines that are consider where you come out. But Normally, after Ramipril, you don't reach 10 milligrams. Yeah, now that you say, yeah? Yes, that yes. You say, yeah? You're there on amlodipine? you no. don't have blood pain no no just on no, not pain. okay so maybe are you diabetic so we got reasons why would they give this but not give that do you see so the second now what's you know what's how they reach now then they add another one but whether it's a beta blocker i'm not sure it depends on what's in you know, other clinical problems but then again mm. it might just be a diuretic now they probably go give you next so check with you g mm. oh, okay yeah, okay, you, Mr. Yeah, good, uh, yes, please yeah my brother them my sister them let we know uh, continue this habit for say, ah, me, I know one for take medicine. That now one thing we people in Kintok Reiki really, really disappoint me. Mm. Yeah, I know say, I tell you what, nobody know one for take medicine, but if what you get demand, say you get for take medicine, well, you get to be yeah. thankful because some man they cry for that, you know, get her. So right. if you get that, then give you and be thankful, say at least somebody look after you. That's one thing. Secondly, when they give you and please, 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 and pretty, please be religious. Yeah. Like how they pray to Papa God, and I saw you need for take that medication. They get clearly not that good. And mm -hmm. for one thing or the other, nine, then get for change that medication. Day, you not be the author of that. Let not be saying that you get for do that. Let right. be say you come with the approval of the GP because nine get for look after you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Thank my you. suggestion to you, my brother, is go mm -hmm. and book an appointment with this GP, whether not the regular one or not, just explain mm -hmm. to him and then go we'll take you in and look at waiting for doing. In fact, they might just do the blood test there and then, and send mm -hmm. and go, and then they will get a clearer picture as to which they go on and why it is don't develop this resistance and which for do for manager in the meantime. Yeah, thank you very much, thank Doc. You very much. Uh, Mr. BK, that's the advice. Uh, Mr. Karifala and Sisugi, we get two minutes. So okay, uh, me, man will be quite short. Doc, is it possible to share your slides with us? If, uh, uh -huh. Especially the one where they talk about uh, the symptoms and you know how the, the, the and, and how for combat them. Uh, yeah, by all means. Uh, and that aside, the, also the, the machine you talked about, like the ones, uh, the pressure machine for buy for use in the house. Yeah. And at the find out it will be deceitful because it don't make some people don't fall ill. They're not going to hospital away very late because the readings are always wrong. I don't right. know what you comment on that because yeah. me, the, me, the friend for user now because I know somebody who have been to use them religiously. Then if they get wrong readings all the time, they, it is dumb. They, you know, they depend on their reading and they take on things went worse. Yeah. So what is your comment on that, sir? Right. Again, I, this is a very good question, and I'm glad you asked that question. Here. Just quickly, again, it depends on how. Like how you say, you know, if you go go buy Rolex watch for 10 pong, and then you buy Rolex watch for 10,000 pong, I think, say, you get me this. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that answers your question. You know, yes, he does. Yes, yes. That, that's the thing with it. You know what I mean? So it is important for know exactly which you go for do. You understand? And yeah. besides that, remember say we do have the cough, a very important aspect of that. If the cough too tight, it will give you wrong reading. If the cough too small, it will give you wrong reading. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. so you get to really get the one way it suits you. And remember, say that over the over years, it could be chum and it could get fault. The battery way they use. If you know the place that it will give all the thing they did, that thing they win are added factors to that thing. So if you this is a no pressure, why they measure them, not to say the day. Well, I'm going to tell you, not time for later. I got to go check him or maybe go invest in another one. 
and then they different different quality different grade them but if you go for the one way at least 20 25 pounds then they're very very uh, uh, dependable as far as me understand thank you very much sir thank you thank you very much doc what yeah, i will say to everybody them, them, uh, the tm go go actually take care of that yeah it's i just nice. don't okay. i just don't put the email um at the chat so please, if you want to send on an email um, to that email address, they want to send on a request, we will share the slide with you. Okay? Thank you so much, man. Thank yeah, you. S-L-O-G-M health at gmail.com. So if you want to send a message, they will be able to um, send on the slides. And if you see, Ugi, you get one minute. Well, I will say 30 seconds because we're going to leave 30 seconds for Doc for, uh, for follow-up. No, we're not going to hear you. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. There you go now. There you go. There you go. Yeah, no, well, first of all, I for say, say thank you to Dr. Kamara. You know, some things then the way don't talk. For myself, me, I just got open pan about, you know, black people and, and high blood pressure or, or even the, just the general illness. Because for more of those studies, as I notice now for say anything, black man, them, it's difficult for like we um, low get better. It's difficult, you know. So all that they ask is, we all, now we go to doctor, we get the opportunity then a year so. People and then other parts of the world, we not get the opportunity then they. We get the opportunities, then I ask so that we know they take the opportunities, then the way that the, the, the job doctor then sets up the beg for let you go, let them go look after you, you know, and we know they do them, you know. Then other people, then the way one time, when they say once, once, no, get, 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 no one. We then I hear, we they get everything they we know they, we know they use, we know they take the opportunity and demand them, please, let we go and let we continue for taking the medication, that, as Dr. Kamara say, no stop for say because I don't feel better, I stop for taking the medicine because I saw me, I never put myself inside there, but we all. No, no stop for take medication. Go to doctor. Let go arrange that doctor med medication the back for change if they get for change. But no stop your medication. Say because your you blood pressure don't come down. Not so you go talk if the blood pressure don't come down or not. Now you and the doctor now not to go. But please let we all go to doctor. And that's the main, most important thing. Thank you very much, ma. I will hear I will listen. I will begin go see me. GP. You go to doctor. I not having me GP. Me GP not having me. But no worry. I go. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so see who get and they go be your last one for today. Um, Dr. Kamara, um, you get anything uh, for round we we'll up today because we don't run out of time now. No, no, I just want to thank, want to thank everybody. And as I said, do you allow not forget high blood pressure and a silent killer? You know, 14 million people them and uh, 5 million people in Getam. 14 don't know say they get them. So it's important for me to carry the message. You know, not only in Aya, but as far and wide as Salon. Please, 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 and pretty please. Thank you so much and God bless you all. Thank and you very for, much, sir. Please, no, no, forget for saying so coronavirus much. still there on. <laughs> coronavirus still there on. No, follow the, the guidelines. No, not forget for saying coronavirus still there on. Right? Yeah, <laughs> Okay, so I would like to tell Una all thank you. Una, we attend. Do you want to ask questions? Do you want to listen from other people in device? Do you want to follow me um, on Facebook? Do you want to follow me on YouTube? Una, all thank you, thank you. Through Una, make this show successful. We will see Una again in a fortnight. Next week, we'll not get a show. Now, now, every two weeks, we'll do it. So we'll see Una again in two weeks. The flyer will come out for the next subject we'll get to do. So till then, Una, good night. Yeah, good night too. Bye. Yeah. Now keep us. Bye bye.